Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I have the Wellu CheckMe O2 Ultra wrist wearable SPO2 and heart rate monitor. And this is great for people that may have, uh, you know, a need to check their heart rate and SPO2, especially overnight. This boasts up to 100 hours of continuous battery life and a two hour charge time. So this is a great thing for overnight checking, uh, maybe if you're in aviation and you need to check your SPO2, or for well-being, just your general well-being, you may want to check something like this out. We're gonna dig into it now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that we get once we open the box here. You do uh, get a warranty card uh, from Wellu, uh, and also uh, you get this user manual from uh, the Wellu and CheckMe for the CheckMe O2 Ultra. And this is written in English. It's not micro print. You're not going to need a magnifying glass to read this. Uh, so you will be able to navigate this very easily. Uh, it's going to give you a bunch of uh, different uh, setups here. What comes in the box, what the buttons do, things like that. Uh, then, of course, your screen display descriptions such as SPO2, pulse rate, putting the sensor on when you see that icon. You do have your time in military. That cannot be changed. You have your remaining ba battery and a Bluetooth, whether that's connected or not. You can use the vHealth app and you can get that in the uh, Google Play or Apple uh, App Store, uh, showing you how to put this on. It is meant for your left wrist and then you can put the sensor itself on your thumb. You can use your forefinger if you would like as well. And then has some sort of specifications here. Uh, you can get up to 100 hours of runtime on just a, a two hour a full charge of this. And it does show you your SPO2 ranges, uh, you know, and what they should be. Uh, and it's going to be plus or minus 2% as the accuracy goes. Your pulse is going to be the same. It's going to measure anywhere from uh, 70 to 100% on your SPO2 and up to 30 beats to up to 250 beats on your pulse rate. Now here we have our charging cable, and again, to fully charge this from zero to 100, it's gonna take two hours. Uh, you can use any USB connection on your laptop or PC, or just use an AC to USB adapter that you probably have with a, one of your other devices. Now it is a magnetic pogo pin connection here, so do not misplace this but it just goes right into the device by magnetic connection. And again, uh, pretty short uh, for being able to uh, run for 100 hours on a charge. It's got a nice silicone band here, a removable sensor as well, if you do want to remove that sensor. Again, uh, this is designed uh, to wear on your left wrist, uh, so make sure that your left wrist is uh, clear and ready to go for this. Uh, you could do this on your right wrist, but the uh, display would be upside down, uh, so you wouldn't want to do that necessarily. So let's get this set up. Uh, on the right-hand side, I do have the vHealth app. Again, you can download it for Android or iOS. This is going to go on my left wrist. Again, a nice soft silicone band here. And uh, this is pretty easy to put on. Not as easy as if I was doing this behind the camera, of course, but you can put this on uh, fairly quickly and easily uh, and to lock it in place. Uh, for however long you're going to be using this. Uh, say if you're using it overnight, you can do that. It just snaps into place like this and you're good to go. So pretty simple and easy, very lightweight. There is a power button on the top that we'll get into in just a second here. And uh, you do have your sensor here. Uh, and they show you to put the sensor on your uh, thumb, but you can also use it on your forefinger or I have. When we first started up here, we can set 
our uh, SPO2 alarm level from 80, 85, or 90, and we can press again to check uh, the battery life and our time in military time. Uh, that is not uh, able to be changed to 12 hour time. So let's put this on my thumb here. I've got the app open. It connects to the app via Bluetooth, and this works out really nicely. Now, you're going to see here that my pulse rate is about 90 beats per minute, and that's because I've been running around doing things. So it's not really a resting pulse rate. It is coming back down uh, 82, 83, uh, and my SPO2 is 96. You can see my Bluetooth icon there, meaning that I'm ready uh, and set up on the app. Uh, Pairing to the app is very simple. Uh, and once you are, you can go to dashboard to get real time st statistics. You're going to see your perfusion index in percentage, your SPO2 at the top, your pulse rate here, and uh, this will uh, have real time metrics for eight minutes straight so you can see what you have here. If we go uh, to our uh, devices, uh, which I will show you, uh, we'll go under my profile first. And once we go down to profile, you'll see a list of devices. Just click the arrow here, and you're going to see that we have several adjustments that we can make. We can change our O2 reminder or alarm uh, from uh, 80 to 85, 90%. So if it drops below that threshold, you can have it either vibrate, sound, or both or send a reminder in the dashboard as well. Uh, so this will go again uh, anywhere from 95, so if it drops below 95, all the way down to 80. Uh, if you were in the 80s, uh, you would definitely want to uh, get that checked out. Uh, I believe that the default on this is 90, and that's where I'm going to leave this. So I'll just cancel out of this or select sure, and we'll leave it at 90. So that means if my SPO2 drops, below 90, I'll get a uh, vibration reminder. And we can do the same thing for the pulse rate, your upper and lower. You'll also notice that the screen timed out to save battery life so that we can get up to 100 hours of battery life. Uh, we do have pulse rate reminders, again, a sound uh, vibration. Uh, the low pulse rate threshold and the high pulse rate threshold are 50 for the low out of the box, but you can set that all the way up to 70 or all the way down to 30. Uh, the high pulse rate is 120, but you can set it all the way to 200 beats per minute or 270. So those are the ranges that you get with this. Now you can set your vibration uh, uh, strength here. Uh, weakest, weak, medium, strong. On medium, this is the default setting. Uh, and it is pretty strong. Like if I was wearing this overnight, uh, I believe even the medium setting would wake me up so that I could check it out. Uh, but obviously the lower setting that you go, the longer battery life you're going to get. But with 100 hours of battery life, you're not going to have a problem getting through a single night, if not several nights with this, no problems. Uh, screen mode can be standard, which means that it will time out over time or always on if you always want it on. The screen brightness is, uh, is automatically set to low, but you can increase it and it will increase a little bit. That'll lead up some battery life too, but not too much with this small screen. So there's lots here that we can uh, do uh, to tweak this. Uh, you can also remove this if you want to check your firmware version and reset factory settings. So this is great to have this nice snapshot of what my uh, O2 is doing and what my heart rate is doing uh, over time, uh, and I can monitor it with the app. Now this will also store your data as well, so you don't have to be hooked up to the app. It will save four sets of 12 hour data in the device itself, and then you can connect it to the app later to view it, uh, and it will come back like something like this, where we uh, did a few minutes here and a few minutes there. I did over a half hour here, just kind of chilling out. You can see my pulse rate is much lower at about average of uh, 74 beats per minute. I had an average of 96% on my SPO2, and it also records motion at the 
bottom. So you can see how restful you are, or restless you are during sleep if you're wearing this at night or just in general. And if we hit this icon, we can go to each little point and see where uh, these uh, motion happened or uh, my pulse rate either spiked or something like that. I can check it out. Now at the top right, you can hit the share button. And what this will allow you to do is a CFV file or a PDF file and allow you to save that, maybe send it to your healthcare provider for questioning and things like that. So that's also an awesome feature here to have to be able to share this data with a healthcare provider or uh, someone that you need to take a look at that. Overall, the app is excellent being able to see everything in real time or not using the app while I'm sleeping and then being able to hook it up later and upload the data to the app is a really great feature. So there you go. That's my review of the Wellu Check Me O2 Ultra wearable SpO2 and heart rate monitor. This is a great tool to have if you want to monitor your SpO2 levels and your heart rate levels, maybe after exercise, overnight while you're sleeping, and things like that. Overall, I had a great time testing this. The app that comes with it, uh, the vHealth app, works exceptionally well on Android and on iOS, and it stores all the data so that you can forward it on or look back at it over time to check on your wellness. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.